Fox just fired fuck Tucker Carlson. Well, they're going to have to fire some more. Fox is going to have to fire a lot of people about hiding the story about racism and promoting racism. Baltimore's biggest loser. That's Governor Hogan and Al Redmer. We talking about the money you make off black bodies. And we talking about Fox 45 and how they endorse Donald Trump, how they promote Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not a friend to the black community. Theroux is not a friend to the black community. You feel me? Y'all make a lot of money off of black bodies. That's President Trump. So we don't have no misunderstandings. That's President Trump and he got this. So when y'all put President Trump through the court, remember, we're going through the court. Shorty, put your mask up. And we're going to take this to court. We're going to talk about the money you've been making off of black bodies since 1986. The war on drugs. That's the IRS. That's President Biden. I'm a member of Out for Justice, and I'm going to file a class action lawsuit about the war on drugs. A class action lawsuit about the money you've been making off of black bodies for the last 50 years. All right? And it's going to be Scott Schellenberg going to be the, the, the chief witness. I was doing a documentary about Baltimore. Yeah, the money you make off of. The war on drugs, N62528, State Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. I was found innocent of all charges. I'm showing you the judges, the lawyers, and the politicians that get paid. You feel me? The money Governor O'Malley made off of this. 2011, 2006, I started a documentary, Letters Design. Also, 2011, it was about the Public Accommodations Act. I put a toilet in front of the Towson courthouse to expose the corruption in your courts. You're not tough on crime. You're tough on black people. That's Jared Jimenez from the Board of Elections. ex felons got a right to vote. And like I said, this is Fox 45 voter suppression. And y'all voting and supporting Scott Schellenberger. ex felons got a right to vote. Like I said, we're going to file a class action lawsuit. If I don't get to a grand jury, if I don't get to Supreme Court, if I don't get exonerated, we're going to file a class action lawsuit. That's Marilyn Mosby. That's Marilyn Mosby. Public Accommodations Act. The judges, the lawyers, and the politicians. Y'all going after Clarence Thomas right now. But Chief Justice Roberts got my paperwork. I'm going to have the whole Department of Justice investigate justice. You feel me? You talking about the money behind the machine. These are the supporters of Shorties. They signed this paperwork in 2007. They're graduates, they're lawyers, doctors, they're prominent individuals in the society. These are the supporters of Shorties in 2010. These are the supporters of Shorties. All right. We are requesting that state and local officials in the city of Zion, Illinois, conduct an investigation. Also employing the appropriate state of Maryland to assist shorties in his efforts for justice. These are my supporters. Just because you see me alone don't mean I'm alone. I'm doing a documentary about race and racism. And I had white people do it. See these white people? These are my supporters. You can ask Don, Donnie Glover too. He came to my event at Starbucks. Starbucks and shorties. Like I said, I had white people fight my fight about racism. That's my store on Falls Road. That's my property. And these is my witnesses. And that's the state of Maryland in 2005. You feel me? I need an audit. I was telling you about the schools back in 2005. These are our elected officials. All right? Our elected officials. You the county council. Brooks is still in office. Adrian Jones is in office. All of y'all are still here and none of y'all did nothing about my situation. That's me, 2007. That's David Irwin. All right. The state of Maryland. All right. That's the case right there. 86 CF 293. It's about the war on drugs. And Governor Hogan got this. Al Redmer got this. Kiefer Mitchell got this in 2019 because I never got a trial. That's Dr. Bundy. That's Pam Woods. You see who that is? Mary J Jane Weibel. Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office before Ivan Bates got in office. And that's Governor Hogan. And this was submitted in 2019. Don't kill the dream. No, Martin Luther King, Public Accommodations Act. Keeping the dream alive. 
Judge Bennett, Robert Harden in the Department of Justice, Brian Frost, Peter Francott, Johnny Oleski. Like I said, 2005. I'm not the watermelon man. I'm shorty. That's Peter Francott when he ran for governor. That shorty put your mask up. Y'all got to pay me for that. I'm a copywritten criminal. And y'all got to charge Schellenberger with kidnapping. I never got to attend my mother's funeral. We're talking about the Baltimore County Detention Center and the corruption in the courts. How you illegally incarcerate blacks, Hispanics, and poor whites and you make money off of their bodies. You see that? This is certified mailing. That's WJZ, Kai Jackson, Adam May, Bob Turk, Ron Matz, Tim Williams, Saunders, Gigi Barnett, Marty Bass, Mike Shue, and Richard Scher. That's the Baltimore Sun, Brent Jones. Block party gets bigger and better. That's the Baltimore man held on toilet caper. Fake destructive device. You feel me? That's Attorney General Keith Ellison, the state of Minnesota. That's Fox 45, Karen Parks, Crime and Justice. See the cases, see the dates. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Like I said, I was making a documentary. Shorty documentary. That's Jake Davis. He signed that. Shorty documentary. That signature ain't my signature. And the state accepted forged checks. We're talking about inmate release information. In release all material to the voters. That's the rule. Baltimore's biggest loser. That's parole and probation. That's the Baltimore Sun, ABC, CBS, NBC. Don Lemon just got fired. Carl Tuckerson just got fired. You got a lot more that's going to get fired. That's Julie Ensign from the courts, 2011. See that? Custodial records. 2011, 9.15 a.m. The entire contents of the defendant's vehicle, a 1999 Chevy Suburban, Maryland registration. All right? Before I went to trial, you sold a truck. You destroyed the evidence in the truck. And you took me to trial. I shouldn't have never went to trial. We're talking about $2.5 billion class action lawsuit against the state of Maryland about their prison industry and the money you make off black bodies. Yeah. That's a movie release in the documentary, Hazel Norman. That's a movie release in the documentary, James Hammond, Peter Francott. That's Dred Scott. And like I said, I got the camera, I got the film, and that's my store on Falls Road. I got the tapes, and I got the rule. So y'all fire C Tucker Carlson, y'all gonna fire some more people. That's my lawyer, Mr. Bailey. All right. And like I said, I use a toilet. A toilet don't care if you black, white, straight, or gay. A toilet take your shit every day. Documentary about Governor Hogan. That's my visitor's pass. That's President Trump. That's my lawyer, and that's Donnie Glover. Ask him about me.